Hello and welcome to Time Starve Button Masher, where we review games from the perspective of the player who doesn't have a huge amount of time to play. We ask two questions. Is it good? And how's it handle me not being able to play for very long? Otherwise known as, does it respect my time? Today I'm looking at Dwarf Romantic, and the interest of brevity is the short version. Is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Is it good for the short time gamer? Yes it is. Please like and subscribe. Now for the long version. Dwarf Romantic's almost like a game of dominoes, believe it or not, except six-sided dominoes. <laughs> you create these little landscapes out of these six-sided pieces and you try and match other sides. So for example, if you have trees on one side, you try and get trees on the other. You get little missions to complete. So for example, put three train tracks down or have a forest with 600 trees in and these will add to your pile of tiles because you have a finite amount of tiles and as soon as your tiles are gone that's it your game is over is it actually a good game well if you're into the whole chill vibes thing then this could be good for you if you come back from a hard day at work and you just want to chill out you don't want to shoot people you just want to sit there watch something nice happen do something that's not going to be too challenging there's no time limits or anything like that then this could be for you this really could be for you now, does it do well for the shorter time gamer? Well, yeah, you exit and then you go back and you are exactly where you were before. So that's a given, that's gold. The rest of the game, there's not a huge amount more to it than that. There's long-term missions where you can lock little things like, a, say, a train station, etc. And that's fine and that's great and there are different modes, but the game mechanics always the same. So it's always gonna be this little game of builder landscape out of dominoes. So, you know, if that's not your thing, this isn't going to be either. If you're into chill games that don't require a huge amount of brain power, I think it's worth a shot for you. And that's it. Nice little short one. Have a lovely day.